So to conserve effort, you just really want to start on the edges of the fields, particularly on the edge of a field near a dirt road would be a really good place to start. Um, because dust typically is just associated with greater mite densities, it's more dry on the edge of the fields usually as well. That also builds up mite populations. And what I'm looking at here is the second crop of rice in Kaplan, Louisiana. This is the second crop growth off of the original, that was regrown off of the first crop that was harvested here. It's getting pretty close to be ready to harvest in the next couple of weeks. And what we have found in this field that's causing us some concern is very high populations of the panicle rice mite. And what I'm going to demonstrate right now, <laughs> if the wind comes down, what I'm going to demonstrate right now is how to scout for the mites on the plants. The first thing that I've cued in here on this particular little stand of plants is a, is a large amount of uh, panicles that are gone and also discoloration on the holes of the grains that are present on the panicles. This discoloration could be also caused by bacterial panicle blight and the symptoms that I'm looking for on the sheath are symptoms that are also commonly associated with sheath rot, Serocladium oryzae. So if I walked up to this stand of plants, the way that I would sample is to pull out one of these plants that has discoloration on the sheath, pull back the leaf sheath, And I have here a 30 power, it's like a mini microscope, so it's a 30 power hand lens with a light. This is my preferred way of looking for the mites. And you will look inside the sheath and look for the presence of mites. And in fact, there are quite a few mites on the inside of this leaf sheath. Most of them are dead at this stage of development of the crop. Um, but that way I was able to confirm that there are in fact mites present in this field. You could also use a hand lens, a 16 to a 20 power hand lens to look for mites as well, but it's hard to make out very much detail with that type of a tool. So here, for instance, I can look inside into this discolored region of the sheath here for mites with the 16 power hand lens. What you can see is these small white specks on the inside of the leaf sheath. Uh, particularly concentrated in the areas where you have discoloration of the sheath. So it's going to be a chocolate brown, reddish discoloration. And then there are these kind of oblong, uh, they're, they're really kind of clear in color, but a little bit straw colored mites that are present on the inside of the leaf sheath. Personally, I don't feel confident the saying that it's actually this mite using a 16 power. I don't have as much confidence until I use a 30 power, which is why I'm recommending that as the tool. It takes a little bit of getting used to using the 30 power, but it, but it gives you much more magnification so that you can actually see these mites. These mites are small. They're only about 300 microns in length, um, which is much smaller than even a period on 12 point font on your computer screen, for instance. They're, they're very small and difficult to see, which is the first thing we're gonna have to combat with finding it in the field.